Good evening all, so we have come back with a very interesting topic and today I will be talking about the world of uncertainty. What do you understand about the world uh, in these days and how we can predict the events that uh, happened recently. There are a lot of events that happened in the world that no one has predicted before. And it's a situation that we, people were shocked, it were, they were surprised. Whether it was the economical financial crisis, some elements of climate change, some elements of immigration, some elements of uh, the Arabic Spring. It was a situation where people was was shocked. They were they were in a state of disbelief. How such uh, extra, how such a situation happened with the significant consequences. And to, let me explain the the current world and how we can predict the world today. And with this uh, with this topic uh, with ab about the world of uncertainty and how we can predict the world uh, of uncertainty. I shall. Talk. So let's start. So the world of uncertainty has emerged because the world has become highly connected, highly complex, highly dynamic. And the parameters that are affecting any, any possible solution or any possible scenario become so vast and so interactive that it is always so confusing to understand how things will unfold as at one point a particular scenario might happen on and on the other side a, di a completely different scenario might happen and both they have different consequences the second uh, thing is about the risk the likelihood and risk so usually any event that might occur it has a great uh, uh, some level of likelihood and it have some level of consequences and you should always understand if the event is uh, the likelihood of the event to, to happen is only 1%, but the consequences are severe, you would end up in a situation that you do not, uh, that, that you would never, uh, that you would never be able to adapt to. So this is why we need to develop concepts of resilience. So let me give you the example of the economical crisis. So this is the financial economic crisis. Uh, nobody has predicted such a thing. And if there was a prediction, and even if today we look back at numbers and how things are working and how uh, different figures would be, we would say that the possibility of such a financial crisis would happen maybe 1%. But the consequences of such a thing was was devastating on the global economy. So this is the same. What is the possibility of a third world war to emerge? What is the possibility? Or this is a, a very good question. What is the possibility based on the current political actors of a third world war to emerge, uh, starting from the Middle East or in the Korea? especially the current conditions. So this kind of, even if you have only a chance of 1%, or a chance of even half percent of such as uh, of such an event to happen, it will have a devastating consequences because the world has multi actors, multi players that are connected to the networks, and each one of them represent a hub. And any change in this hub actually affect the whole network rather than affecting uh, the, uh, the 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 con uh, the the node, which is the country, the organization, the person in an isolated way. So this is actually a very important matter to understand the world of uncertainty that we are living in. How connected is the world and what are the possible scenarios and likelihood of uh, drastic events that might happen and how we can look at these scenarios. It's very important that we develop our uh, understanding of the uncertain world and understand why the world of networks is so complex and different things can emerge look at the world of social media we looked at things at, as as like fake news uh, data breach emails leak and so on and we happen about we happen to hear about this on a daily basis it's not something that these events were happening every time every every year or once every year or once every two years it's, it's becoming happening regularly and continuously in an intense way that people started to feel there are many unpredicted there, there are a huge amount of events that were unpredicted and they are they have significant consequences and it, it, the current world that we are living in 
in terms of economy, look at China trade balance, look at oil prices. Why the oil prices has dropped and then you have a lot of unemployment issues and you have these workers and you have why the Syrian crisis has emerged and you have this immigration patterns. What happens with the global workforce mobility? How, what, why Brexit happened? All of these questions about the world of uncertainty and how these multi-actors, multi-players in the world. And today is really about the individual. It's really about what, can, what you can contribute to push your interest and how you can really protect your hub from these kind of events. So, so it's about understanding the different scenarios, the different possible scenarios that might happen, and the different likelihood of these events to have to happen, and the different consequences. Yes, we see a world with a higher likelihood of a third world war, and some people would not believe it, or they are in a state of denial that such a thing might never happen, but actually such a thing can happen. And we are in a state of denial that extreme drought or extreme climate conditions might not happen. Happen, but actually these things can happen and we are in a situation where we think uh, 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 some countries will carry on uh, on their uh, growth trends and growth projections as before without being affected by geopolitical and, geo, uh, geo -econo uh, and global economical situation and they are wrong. So uh, we have seen this in the oil prices, we have seen this in so many uh, areas. So we need to understand the different scenarios that might happen. And the best way is to build a resilient world, a world that can adapt to uh, extreme uh, financial condition, a world that can adapt to extreme, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, to extreme social conditions like immigration and so on. So if we develop characters that are resilient to uh, dramatic uh, events, then we are planning ourselves for the future. We are planning ourselves for different scenarios. And that was my quick talk on the world of uncertainty. Why it's uncertain? Because there are a lot of uh, connectivity and there are a lot of intra, um, inter, uh, we, we interprobability, I, uh, which means that uh, that both uh, parameters are affecting each other in, in in two directions. So demand affects supply, and supply affects demand, and employment affects uh, job uh, growth, and growth affects uh, unemployment, and uh, oil prices affect real estate prices, affect uh, let me say affect uh, the price of food, and so on. So. You should really understand how these things connect and what uh, what is the butterfly effect. How so, one thing that can that might happen in Brazil can affect our current world, and because of this level of connectivity, and how we can reduce this level of uh, the, the consequences of different scenarios, and we understand the likelihood of different scenarios and the likelihood of different social events, and try to plan a very resilient world, a world that is adaptive, a world that can create a better future. That was my talk for today. I wish a great evening so, and we'll say salam.